Have you ever had an idea you hope would be implemented? I'm here to tell you that you can make your ideas a reality. In all honesty, the path to implementation of your idea may not be as easy as it looks like this chart behind the woman pictured here. But all of us have the potential to create and contribute. Today, I will share my story to offer an illustration of how ideas can sprout into actions. To get started, I want to emphasize the importance of sharing your ideas with others. As we all know, beautiful flowers don't just blossom because we wish they would. They need nurturing from bees and a healthy soil and cultivation. Your ideas are similar. We need a strong support system for people to cheer us on through the ups and downs of implementation as success comes after we stumble a few times. There's a Japanese proverb that underscores the theme of this talk. This proverb translates to fall down seven times, get up eight. I summarize these wise words with a single word, perseverance. As I'll share today, my story is not one of continuous successes, not at all. There were failures and disappointments along the way. Had I not pushed through those stumbles, I would not be speaking to you today. I want to provide some background before sharing my story. I grew up being that student who worked incredibly hard for B's and an occasional A, while my peers complained they did not get straight A's. Not only was this frustrating, but my main takeaway from middle school was that I wasn't as smart as my peers. The one thing I knew was that I was different, meaning not as capable. During middle school, I was separated from my peers during art and other electives, so I could go to resource class. In eighth grade after testing, we realized I was capable and that I learned differently. When I learned that I had a diagnosed challenge, I didn't know how to react. Throughout middle school, I would come home from school every day and pump out work like a machine. No matter how hard I worked, no one saw me as a source of big ideas or a person with big potential. I learned about my admission to Wolcott on my eighth grade Washington DC trip. My friends could not understand why I would leave our school. They could not see how ready I was for a new beginning. Wolcott would be my fresh start with students just like myself. Starting at a brand new high school made the possibility seem endless. The germination of my big idea began when I started at Wolcott in August 2013. Wolcott was a place I started truly understanding both my strengths and weaknesses. The summer before my junior year, I took the summer course with Mr. Bay called Farm to Table. Wolcott was a lot smaller than it is today, and I ended up being the only student in this summer class, which at first seemed weird, but it led to unforgettable hands-on learning, including trips, to urban agriculture spaces and grant writing. During that summer, I drew a design for a vertical garden. Mr. Bay encouraged me to make those drawings a reality. He helped me apply for multiple garden grants, six in all. Wolcott's vertical garden ended up winning support from three of the six grantors. That support enabled us to create a vegetable garden at Wolcott. For others at the school, bringing these drawings to life gave my classmates encouragement to invest in their ideas. During my senior year at Wolcott, I signed up for Mr. Bay's engineering class, eager to explore another big idea under his guidance. In that class, I worked with many others at Wolcott to collect information to submit an application to the U.S. Department of Education Green Ribbon Schools Award. The U.S. Department of Education Green Ribbon Schools Award recognizes schools that meet three pillars. 
reducing environmental impact, improving health and wellness, and providing an effective environment and sustainable education. Unfortunately, we were not selected on the first try, but we took our disappointment and converted it to learning. Rather than sit with our failure, we persevered. We learned from that first attempt. To be honest, it was really discouraging to see that Green Ribbon School winners were elementary and middle schools where applications were submitted by teachers and administrators. I realized how rare it was for a student to orchestrate and guide an application. That motivated me to persevere. We reached out to the reviewers of the award and asked for feedback on how to improve Walcott's application. In the next application cycle, in the year after I graduated Wolcott, a team of students improved on the initial submission and Wolcott ended up earning recognition as a Green Ribbon School. Before I close, I want to thank Mr. Bay for all the support during my time at Wolcott and Forward. I will continue to share my ideas with the world through the food industry. In closing, I want to reiterate my main message. There are great ideas in all of us, and we all have strengths and weaknesses. But if you believe in your ideas and share them with supporters, persistence can be your key to success. If my story can convince even one of you to pursue your idea, our world will be a better place. Thank you.